Not a lot of cameras get access, but ABC 15 is inside TSMC, one of the world's leading chip manufacturing companies. TSMC currently employs about 3,000 people in Arizona. One of the first was Jeff Patz, who trained at company headquarters in Taiwan for over a year. There's a huge batch of us that all went there together. So kind of experiencing that new, like new to the semiconductor industry, new to Taiwan altogether was really exciting. Arizona's TSMC president says several hundred employees at the Arizona site are from Taiwan, sent to install complex tech and train local hires to meet global standards. As that training and that know-how continues to build here in Arizona with our local hires, and it will take a, a little while, a couple years to get, you know, really understanding how to, you know, troubleshoot and what to do when things go wrong. Then those folks from Taiwan, you know, can go back to their home fabs. Cultural differences have led to some growing pains, including lawsuits alleging a toxic work culture. What's the work culture like, the dynamic between the different cultures here? I would say we go to Taiwan to train and we're bringing that culture here to the U.S. And the exciting part, it's almost like when you bake it a cake at high altitude, low altitude, you're still baking the same cake, but you kind of need to make some fine-tuned adjustments. You guys are dealing with a couple lawsuits from, from former employees about a toxic work culture. How do you address those concerns when people say about that? You know, it's something where if you have two people, you will always have differences of opinion. We have lots of different training programs so that people can understand the different types of cultures and different types of ways of communicating, different types of leadership. And it's a learning process. We're not the first company to come and build build a brand new large plant and it always takes a little bit of time. Josie, an equipment engineer who started in Taiwan before moving to Phoenix, said while in the beginning there were cultural challenges, that's no longer the case. The cultural thing is in the work. Taiwanese culture, in the beginning we try to crush each other to make sure fulfill for each other. But so then we have some you know, uh, we have some cultural crush in the beginning, and I think I'm used to it. Yes. Right now, I think we got the balance, and uh, it's not the challenge anymore. As Fabs 2 and 3 near completion, thousands more engineers and technicians will be needed. TSMC is partnering with universities and creating apprenticeship programs. I am in the fab most days. I am doing alarm handling, troubleshooting, that sort of thing. Um, I'm also working on new tool installation. Taylor came from ASU's engineering school. She believes the university can help produce the workforce needed at TSMC. I think they're capable of um, you know, having more students who would be able to fill roles here. In our next report, from water to energy, the push to keep sustainability front and center as TSMC continues to grow. But is it enough? Ben Brown, ABC 15, Arizona.